Filipino workers would benefit from the rehabilitation of traditional jeepneys instead of implementing a phase-out. Robin Failon, Deputy General Secretary of Piston, said the government should support Filipino workers instead of large companies who would benefit from the jeepney phase-out. Failon is among the jeepney drivers who joined the nationwide transportation strike in Monumento, Caloocan. Dahil pag rehabilitate mo yan, magluluwal sa ng isang trabaho. Mabubuhay yung mga mekaniko, mabubuhay yung mga talyer na gawa ng jeep, mabubuhay yung, yung mga gawa, yung mga vulcanizing, upholstery, yung mga kainan sa tindahan. Failon explained it would be challenging for drivers to pay for the modern jeepneys. Based on Piston's data, traditional jeepneys cost 200 to 600,000 pesos, while modern jeepneys cost 2.4 to 2.6 million pesos. Rehabilitating jeepneys, meanwhile, would only cost 900,000 pesos. Failon also lamented that the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board did not hear the recommendation of transport groups during their meetings. Malu Tukia, a political strategist, also shares the same sentiment. She explains that there has been a failure of negotiation which led to the transport strike. However, she assured that the issues can still be resolved. Kausapin nila, ano yung mali doon sa programa? Gusto mo bang mas matagal pa? Mm -hmm. diba? You have to reason out with them. Critical yung makita na may solusyon. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung ang solusyon mo ay eh, um, umabot ka sa tigil pasada, may nangyari. Nagkaroon ng failure of negotiation. Meanwhile, more transport groups in Metro Manila and other parts of the country decided not to join the week-long nationwide transportation strike. Eileen Sarudo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.